so uh, that usually happens to women when they talk to me. So it's okay. Hot. First of all, hot. Are you feeling this oh, country? I should move out of here. Yeah, see, I am very hot. Uh, right now, yes. I probably am the hottest in this area. So, you have to ask me quickly because it's cold. How many kilos of clothes have you worn? I haven't worn any clothes because I avoid wearing my own clothes. So, why with clothes? Why with clothes? Why with clothes? Because... Uh, it's a very interesting show. It's a historical, and uh, the combination of a historical and a comedy is very unique. I don't really think I've seen anything like this before. Uh, so I find the combination uh, extremely interesting, and that's why I guess I took it up. So, I mean, in your previous shows, also you tried to play with certain characters in between. Have I? No, no. I haven't. No. So this is the first time. For yeah, that's what I'm saying. A historical comedy. I've done a show which was the first. Horror comedy. It was a show called Bhutwala serial that I used to do. It was a horror comedy, and that time also I was very interested because you know you're combining comedy is obviously my forte, and I would like to do comedies. I find it, I mean, I love doing comedies because I, I enjoy the whole genre. So, uske saath saath agar kuch aise combine hota hai, to I think it's very unique. I think making a historical, which normally is a more serious and war and ye wo and so here we will do comedy and history, I think it will be fun. So I mean there is another show that is coming up like Gongs of Hasipur and stuff like that. So plus we are already doing couples. So how is this going to be different besides the historical point of view? Yeah, but going to be different as in this is a fiction show. What you're talking about are non-fiction shows where uh, a stage cooper with an audience and obviously it's totally different. What Comedy Nights with Kapil is, is m a lot of stand-up and uh, then, yeah, in celebrity interactions and so, well, this has nothing to do with that. And plus, there is space for every, I mean, uh, largely the shows on a channel called Sub TV are largely uh, comedies. So, there is a lot of people making comedies. There is fiction, there is non-fiction. This is a fiction comedy, something that I've done, uh, a show called FIR also that I do, uh, which is a fiction comedy. So, I've done this thing before. So, the interesting part in this show is obviously historical being the unique, or uh, the USP of the show. Yeah. What other shows are going to be simultaneously juggling between? Yeah, I'm going to be juggling between a couple of shows and uh, but I have done that in the past also in my life and so it's not really that difficult. I, I, I manage somehow. But I like working and I, I enjoy doing the work that I do. So yeah, I'll juggle, I'll manage somehow. This is your first comedy? This is <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is not my first comedy. I'm shocked. <laughs> no, I mean, no. This is this is the first rhetorical comedy. I mean, maybe you're not recognizing me with the mooch in me. <laughs> that is what I'm telling myself. <laughs> But the fact is that uh, what what do I answer? She <laughs> said no, no. But then whatever he's done a lot of uh, work before. I have worked with him in a show called uh, Shri Adi Manav where uh, oh. it was a deaf, dumb, and blind three boys uh, and uh, he's done family number one. I've done little little PR. He's done a lot of shows. Okay, so uh, how's the equation with Delnas? The equation between all of us, me, Vishal, Delnas, we've all known each other for a long, long time, and uh, so. I guess we've been friends before and now that we're working together, we have worked together also individually. Uh, Vishal has worked with Delnas, I have worked with Vishal, I have worked with Delnas separately. So we've all worked like uh, between each other. So yeah, but it's it's because we've known each other and we're very comfortable working with each other. It's a great chemistry that we share. So yeah, we're having a great time. So uh, when is the show starting? Yeah, the show starts on the 28th of April uh, on uh, Big Magic at 9 p.m. It's a Monday to Friday, so please watch it. 28th. What's the USP of the show? History, as we mentioned before. Yeah, the USP of the show is it being a historical. It's a comedy, and how in a, a, it's it's based in the 1600s. So for kids also to watch, how we sometimes, you know, uh, try to, and I also have children, okay, they also, when you can teach them that history mein ye tha, wo tha, sometimes they get a little bored, ke, uh, you know, what now, and why do we have to learn so much about the past, but that's interesting, if we 
get a little humor humor into the past so i'm sure the kids will also watch it this is a show i'm 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 100% sure that kids also will thoroughly thoroughly enjoy because again we have grandeur this is stuff that they don't see every day they don't walk into a friend's house and a friend's house does not look like this so the point being that they will be quite surprised or whatever they'll enjoy the look of the place and then it's a comedy so they'll they'll surely enjoy it Uh, comedy nights with the kapil <laughs> i find that show very funny why i don't know whenever i see that show i find it very funny so my favorite comedy is dior batiam i i see look at this and wonder why people do watch it why it gets a, it gets a trp of 6 i wonder how can a, a, a woman suddenly work in a house for so many years and then join the ips without studying so it's a very funny show yaar and i suddenly wonder which ips training makes you jump through an aircraft or uh, they make you bungee jumping or what is it called do <laughs> it it's a mixture of uh, zindagi milegi na dobara and uh, lux and all these films so it's a damn she asked me what's your favorite comedy show i said dior batiam every time i see that show i, I laugh chalo <laughs> chalo yeah so then one message to your fans The message to my fans is that uh, this is a new attempt. Um, this is something unique and interesting, which is a historical comedy. So my message is that please watch it. Twenty eighth of April, it goes on air. Uh, Big Magic, nine pm. Uh, Akbar Birbal. Please see. Thank you.